The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 22nd, the fabulous Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have a great day and a great weekend. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is always happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what these bulls and bears, what these buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Phone lines are free. You can also uh, send me an email if you can't give us a call. Uh, Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful, wonderful. Well, that'd be wonderful Wednesday, but it is fabulous Friday out here. Let me get my uh, screen here so that we can have that posted for you. We can all see what the markets are doing right now. We've everything is mean and green. Yep, lit up green. The Dow's up 90 points. That's a third of a percent. The S&P's up six. That's two tenths of a percent. The index 100, well, it's flat. It's up three points, but it's still green. Probably not mean. Russell's up five points, three tenths of a percent. Semis are up nearly two tenths of about one and uh, point one five percent. Two points, so flat. Um, so all I have a spot volatile next. Well, that is not up. That's down 52 cents, trading out at 1261. Gold's off a buck. Silver's off eight pennies. Light sweet crude down 49 cents. You've got natural gas up seven pennies, seven and a half cents out there. Uh, you get the 30 year treasury that's up eight ticks and the uh, leaders to the upside are net ease up 14, Splunk 11. Regeneron 11 and change, Biogen 8, Corona Therapeutics up 6. Uh, the losers to the downside, Dish Network is off 34 bucks. Wow, 92%. Is that right? Must be right. Miss Green can't lie. Test something, something going on there. You've got Tesla off 19 bucks or 5%. Intuit off 13 or 5%. Transdigium Group down 13, about 2%. So uh, now no requests so far. It is a quiet Friday. Maybe everybody has uh, begun their their travel out there. Of course, and if you are, you know, drive safe, be careful. And if not, well, then, then give us a call, send me an email, something along those lines. But let's just simply go take a look at the markets, try to get a figure, uh, try to figure out what they are communicating to you. And I actually want to do is here just before I came on the air, I, um, well, I did the following thing. Just out of curiosity here, I went to uh, went to my old, uh, my old, it's not that old, but uh, went to take a look at the uh, global flow of capital around the uh, globe, just uh, since we're coming towards the end of the year here. I know we're not there yet, but just to take a look at the performance of the major indices and some major instruments during, uh, du uh, since the beginning of 2019 out there, most people would think that, uh, you know, it was the Dow or the S&P 500 that is leading the uh, percentage uh, change out here. Now, we're taking a look at a weekly base, so it's not going to be exactly on January 2nd out there. My charts are posted. Guys in the den, please, please, please. Not, not in the den, I mean in the control room. The control room. Come on, guys, please. we got uh, our listeners, our Tiger TV. They're not seeing anything. The folks in the den. Um, let's get this. Uh, let's get this rolling. Um, John, my apologies. I'm sure they'll get this thing up here ASAP, uh, I hope. But uh, let me just describe to you what it is that I, I'm looking at. Uh, and the actual, the major indices out here, now major, I'm looking at the Dow, S&P, DAX, Nikkei, FTSE, Hang Seng, Shanghai, the uh, Australian uh, 200, gold, T-bonds, 
currencies, light sweet crude, emerging markets, and then the Goldman Sachs Commodity Index out here. Still no charts. Um, I'm mad nobody's listening to me, I guess. Now, nobody in the production room. Hello. I'm not going to knock it on this uh, microphone, but it's not really working. There we go. Okay. I think we're getting it. Okay. So now, folks, so what you can see here, Bosley Z, you can see how each of these things are, each of these instruments, thank you very much in the production room, how they are performing in terms of dollars, U.S. dollars, euros, yen, pounds. And uh, interestingly enough, I didn't know this. Maybe you knew this, but I didn't know this, that it is the DAX that is the uh, winner. Um, going back 46 weeks. So the only you know difficulty with this tool here, my rate of change tool, but I'm, everything is using the exact same time frame, so that's good enough for me out here. But uh, the DAX up 22.25% uh, in terms of the DAX in dollars, and uh, it's up 27% uh, in terms of uh, euros out there. But the reason that I did that uh, was I wanted to see, uh, what, first I just wanted to see what the heck was going on. But then when I saw the DAX, I said, okay, I know what uh, our markets are doing. I know the, the different patterns that are in place for our markets on the daily time frames, that is. What are, the, uh, what are the patterns inside the DAX on its daily time frame? And lo and behold, uh, this has uh, confirmed a, uh, a rose momentum indicator top. It, is, uh, it has confirmed a sell the D point of the A to B equals CD. It did this on the trading day just a couple of days ago when price had gapped down. This is on November 20th out here. So the DAX the also uh, has a, a topping signal out there. But look, we got to go to our call ahead seating. And that means we're going out to California to speak with uh, Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Steve. Having a good Excellent. day, having a good week, having a good year. How about you? Man, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that uh, that sums it up. Let's have an even better year. If we can. Yeah, it should be. Uh, looking forward to it. They've all been good so far. and <laughs> Looking forward to the next one. Uh, that's great. That's great. Okay, so um, let's take a look. Occidental Petroleum, right? Occidental Petroleum is what we're looking at out here. Yeah, and I'm on you... this stock. I did have a question for you on the, yeah. the daily and weekly chart. I don't know if they qualify as a three drive to a bottom. I mean, I guess they're pretty close. And then on the weekly, I wasn't sure if that would qualify as a hammer candle, so I just wanted you to take a look at that. Absolutely. Let's look at the weekly chart first, because what's nice about the weekly chart here for Occidental Petroleum is it's uh, it's confirming a bottoming pattern out here, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator uh, bottom. And uh, yes, this is a hammer candle. Of course, it's all going to be depicts a hammer candle is at 113 in the afternoon. Both you and I don't know what it's going to be at the end of the uh, trading session. But if this were the end of the trading session, then on a weekly basis, on a long term, what you have is a nice confirmed uh, bottom. I mean, signal. It's the first one that we've seen, Rose Momentum Indicator Bottom, I should say, uh, ever since the uh, Rose Momentum Indicator Top that formed uh, inside of uh, Occidental. Now, that's the weekly time frame. You had asked about the daily time frame, so let me pull back here and see what uh, signals we have on the uh, daily. And uh, not the same, not really the same setup here. Now, the question was, is a three drive to a bottom pattern out here. And I, Brent, I'm gonna switch over to my black background chart. Just it's, I think it's uh, visibly easier for you to see why I, I would say, well, let, let's first, let's go measure it. So in order for a three drive, for me to do it, I don't like to force patterns here. Let the patterns, uh, let the patterns work. And if they work, they do. And if not, then it's not one of those patterns. So the first three drive to, and what do I, what I mean by that, if you're looking at the lows here from, or the trading session of June 5th, if you're not and then the, using the task oh shoot. Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Sorry about that. A little off my game there, uh, Brent. Uh, as we, I just kept talking, even though we were going into a commercial. But um, the voila, when I when I pulled this chart back, and I don't know if, if uh, the three drive to a bottom pattern are the same dates that uh, uh, the, 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 that you've selected the same dates that I have. But let me tell you the dates that I'm using that uh, do show a three drive to a bottom pattern and a perfect one because in this case here we're not having to we're not having to force it. When I I mean by force it is the first drive the first low that i'm using for that pattern is the low of june 5th and then the second uh, low that i'm using is the one that forms out here on august the 26th that was 57 trading sessions and then 57 more trading sessions takes us to a low that forms out here on november 14th now there's your three drive wasn't confirmed until two days ago and two days ago on November 20th, you probably picked up on this, Brent, because that was a key reversal session, similar to what you had been looking at in one of the um, one of the marijuana stocks, I think it was, or maybe the ETFs out there. And so just what the colorfully looking three drive to a bottom pattern looks like is that. So you've got your bullish reversal signal, and uh, this would suggest a price right now is trading above the top of its daily profile, that the uh, price at least at a minimum should bounce up to 4230 that's going to be the next level of resistance. So you've got a nice bottom on the daily and a nice bottom on the uh, weekly time frame. That sounds great, Stevie. I, I also like it's, it pays a nice dividend. It's over 8 percent. So. Oh, great. Think, OK. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, I, I'm getting paid to be in it. And it's, I think it's I hopefully this is the bottom. You never know. But I think it's one of those. You just try to give yourself the best opportunity of having success. And I think there's some potential in this one. Let's put it that way. No, there, there definitely, there, there, there most certainly is potential of a bottom. You've got, look, you've got signals on the daily. You've got them on the uh, weekly. Uh, you don't have it on the monthly uh, just yet. The month is not over. Uh, the monthly pattern that we would be looking for would be some type of bullish reversal candle. Now, I, 
you know, I don't know that we, it would take quite a move in order to get that uh, during the month of November, but you most certainly could get that in December. What is nice about this, it's not that far off of the bottom, the instrument that is, and uh, because if, if the low holds, so let's say potentially the hammer candle on the weekly we looked at, uh, certainly the key reversal uh, that we looked at on the daily time frame. If that, if that hold fails, well, then it was a monthly chart that was the overriding factor out here. And uh, with it forming an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside, you know, we'd probably wait for, for that signal to uh, form. But right now, Occidental Petroleum uh, looks like a buy to me. All right, that's you know what I thought as well. So, Perfect. yeah, I'm in it around mid 38. So it's you know Great. taking a shot at it, and again, it pays a nice dividend to see what happens with it. So well, that's I, again, wonderful. really appreciate your help as always. Just have a fantastic weekend, and and I'm sure I'll talk to you. Are you going to be in next week, or are you taking yeah, so vacation? Yeah, so in fact, I no, no, absolutely. So, well, next week's schedules uh, for me will be as follows. Larry is going to be out of town, and so I will do his show on Monday and Tuesday from 9 to 10. And that will go ahead, and that will be re-aired at the 1 to 2. And then uh, Wednesday, I'm going to spend the uh, day with a couple of my daughters, uh, and so I won't be doing the show. And then Friday, um, I don't believe I'll be doing the show on Friday either. So just Monday and Tuesday of next week. Okay, we'll just have a great Thanksgiving if I don't talk thanks. to you in between now and then, okay? Thanks. Uh, you too, and then thanks for sharing uh, the instruments that you did this week with uh, everybody listening in here and everybody in the uh, Tiger's Den. I know it's much appreciated. So uh, great, uh, great finds out there. All right, take care, Steve. I'll talk to you soon. All right. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Um, so we were, oh, I mentioned the DAX earlier. So so this is kind of interesting. So the DAX itself has a topping uh, pattern, a topping signal. Um, if we take a look at our markets out here, I'll just show you the topping signals that are in place right now. And all four of the equity futures contracts are showing the same pattern, slightly different dates out here. Uh, that slightly different dates really come between the Russell 2000 and the, uh, and the other three out here. But uh, each of them, you can see the arrows, the blue arrows, uh, they represent the confirmed TD setup nine counts. So we've got four. Uh, all four of these uh, equity futures contracts have indicated topping patterns. Now there's more out there as well. The Dow and the DAX look similar, not exactly the same, but look similar. If I take a look at the Dow equity futures contract as an example out here, what we will see is that the Dow equity futures contract has confirmed an A to B equals CD pattern as well. And it did it with that key reversal bearish engulfing session. So what we're seeing right now in the markets, and what you should have noticed on the prior chart that we looked at, much easier to see, I think, on this chart is that uh, what price is doing was we're seeing a little bit of a counter trend rally or what appears to be a little bit of a counter trend rally now hard to say that when it's just two days to the downside but price is trading below one key level of support and that's stevie's green line that's 27879 so you got 27879 write that down on your pad of paper if you have a pad of paper and if not 27879 and if we look at the other level of resistance out here it's at 27864 and what we're looking at is a chart number three or two from the right hand side of the screen. And uh, what you're looking at is the top of the daily profile. So here's the beautiful thing. Here's the beautiful setup. And it, right now it is the Dow that may be the leader out here with regard to generating some type of signal for you and I. Could be a bullish signal, could be a uh, uh oh. Uh, the rally is over signal. I don't know which it will be, nor do you. But here's what we do know. We do know that there is resistance at 27,864, and then at Stevie's uh, green line inside the Dow Equity Futures contract, 27,879. Those two are close enough for me, uh, so we'll use the one that is the more difficult one to clear. But if there's a close above 27,879 today, that's only another um, 45 points from where we're trading, so it could do that in the blink of an eye. Then that puts into uh, question makes the uh, topping signal not suspect, but makes it a little bit uh, more risky because the price would have closed above a key level of resistance. So I, I, hopefully you kind of see that whole uh, factor. Now, if we look at the S&P 500 or the ES Mini as an example, if we take a look at it, this tool, we, you and I looked at it, it's got the TD set up nine count, doesn't have an A to B equals CD confirmation pattern, but we can see 3118, 3119 really is a Stevie's green line and 3120 
3121 is the top of its profile out there. Really kind of a beautiful thing and a beautiful setup out here. Uh, what we will find out over the course of perhaps the coming days, maybe even today, I don't know, is this price going to get up to those resistance levels, clear them, making the topping signal suspect, or is it going to get up to those levels? And that's where the turn begins. So we've got topping patterns on these four uh, instruments. We have it on some of the cash indices as well. We have it in the DAX, which has been the leader for the year out there. And I just think that is a beautiful thing. There's a setup here for a top. It's sitting right there. Satish wants to take a look at ticker symbol ZTS. ZTS, let's go take a look at it, see what kind of signals we've got here. ZTS is uh, Zoetis, and I'm sure I totally blew that. But we are going to into a hard break this time, and I am not going to blow it like I did the first time around. So Satish, just wait and until we come back from this break, and we'll take a look at it. That is ticker symbol ZTS. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Take a 
to look at ticker symbol ZTS. That is Zotis Inc. Let's uh, go ahead and get that uh, chart here up on the uh, screen for one of our dinners and who is long this ticker symbol. So, uh, so far, everything looks good when we take a look at the daily and the, uh, well, let's go take a look at the charts. Here's what we know. We know that the daily top with a TD setup, nine count, uh, uh, pattern out here did it with also a, a Rhodes momentum indicator top all of that led to a TD setup a nine count out here you've seen a nice move off of that uh, bottom price is pulling back today your preference would be to see this close above the top of the box but at least 119.01 that is Stevie's red line if price were to close below Stevie's red line 119.01 Satish uh, put on your seat belt you may get a retracement back to 117.17 116.06. If price tests 119.01, rejects it, then everything looks pretty good. Uh, you could see a move up to 126.27 out there. That is where price had broken down. Uh, but right now, the daily time frame chart looks okay. You've got just a normal pullback as we speak right now, but watch that 119.01. On the weekly time frame chart out here, no bottoming pattern. Uh, you've got topping signals, that's for sure. But you do have a hammer candle from last week. And so, uh, Satish, you know the uh, rule out here. If you see a close below the low of a hammer candle, if you're long, you're wrong. And what that would mean in the case of ZTS would be this would likely be headed towards the 101.54 to 96.89 area. So the weekly says caution. The daily says it has formed a bottom. And as long as it stays above Stevie's red line, you should be okay. And the monthly chart out here, which has been a just a, a massive run, um, you know, off of its uh, IPO out here. Um, but it does have a TD setup nine count top. It has a Rhodes momentum confirmed top. And right now, price is sitting right on Stevie's green line. So you've got to watch this because the longer term charts may be the rulers out here. And right now, the weekly says caution and the monthly definitely says caution, uh, but doesn't say sell just yet. Price closed below Stevie's green line at the end of the month. This could pull back. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, to 8539 it would feel like there's a lot wrong with it but there would really be nothing wrong with it price would just be coming back to where it had broken out so i hope that helps you out with z t s speaking of z's one of our dinners z wants to take a look at um uh, some of the uh, perigee or apogee pivot points out here let's go take a look at uh, them we've got apogee and i uh, specifically was asking about the end well let me just do this here because here's our four different equity futures contracts let me just clean this chart up just a tad and um and and here we're taking a look at the apogee pivot points some of you out there might say well what the, in the sam heck is apogee and uh, that is the uh, point in time during the lunar cycle when the moon is uh, closest to uh, furthest from earth out there now i don't i think we've got perigee coming in this weekend that was my recollection am, am i correct about that john i don't have my uh i don't have those tools open up right now but uh, when i had looked at it uh, i thought about a week ago i thought it was coming in over the weekend um so I hope that that's the case. I think that's still the case out there. Yeah, I, I, it's not now or, or or next week. Maybe it's during the week. So in any event, out here, the the when both apogee or perigee. So apogee is when the moon the, when the moon is furthest from Earth during that lunar cycle, and perigee is when it's closest. How do you remember that? How can you remember that? You got apogee and perigee, A and P. A, you would think, would be the closest. It's not. It's just the opposite. So you just have to remember that. Just a little mnemonic out there. Just a little mnemonic. You know mnemonics are, right? In any event out here, if we take a look, let me get right to the question. Then I can go ahead and sidetrack in anything that I'd like to sidetrack into. But typically, and for reasons unbeknownst to me, although I believe I know what the reasons are, but I can't share those, uh, only because if I'm wrong, then it would look like I've got uh, egg on my face. Not that I don't like egg on my face, but uh, no reason for me to share with you something I can't confirm but I pretty much think I know. But in any event out here, uh, typically they act, this pivot point, this specific point in time, exact to the second. I don't really use it to the second. I think, I don't know if I've got them to the second, but I've got them to the minute, right to the minute. In fact, uh, just as long as I mention that perigee, now I'm pulling it up. It's November 23rd. Yeah, that would be tomorrow. It's 7.38 in the morning. We can back that off for five hours. Now, the market's not open tomorrow. So what do we do? There's no market that's open. Well, then we have to use today's close and Sunday's 
open, Sunday evenings open for the equity futures contracts or whatever it is you want to use the uh, perigee pivot point uh, for. Uh, and what it does is oftentimes it really acts as a support or resistance level out here. Um, most times it works better than the way that these uh, charts look right now. So during this cycle, having seen that it really didn't act the way that it normally does, John, uh, I just kind of uh, put it off to the side a little bit as a... Um, but you were asking specifically, can I show the chart uh, as it relates to the NQ? So if I just simply explode this up, and folks, I use a 30-minute time frame. You can use whatever time frame you want out here. Um, you know, it's not that it's not totally working, just not as clean as it normally is. But if you do take a look at the decline that we have seen out here, uh, you go back to November 20th, today's the 22nd, you'll see that what price basically did was stop at that pivot point. Now, we're looking at the candle closes. I don't really care about the wicks out here. Not that I don't care about them, but I don't care about them because the essence of price is the body of the candle. It's not the extreme emotion of the candle, and that's exactly what the wicks are out here. But look at how price has held that area. In some cases, we take a look at the body of the candle. I mean, like right to the actual, I mean, right to the T out there. Well, I don't know if it was right to the 82, 60, 75. That was, oh, wait, wait, the open, the open, the open, 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 82.49.75. It was right to the T. This is at 12 noon yesterday. How does that work? It's, 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 it's a, it's a floater. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a point in time of the location of the earth, the location of the moon um, out there in relationship to the earth and its proximity closer far out there. Look, folks. I spent thousands of dollars, thousands of hours, literally both, um, looking for an edge. Now, this show is called The Trader's Edge. I've actually found the edges, some of the edges I found because I was looking for one thing, talk about how things happen for us, not to us, during the process that I was studying all of the lunar cycles. What I mean by that was I downloaded the entire New American Ephemeris digitally. I didn't download it. I paid the guy to get me those digital files out there. And so I've got literally, um, I think it's 600 years worth of data. <laughs> That's a lot of data, isn't it? Um, so I can I can go out about the next three, four hundred years or so and tell you every apogee, perigee, pivot point, full moon, new moon, this, that, the other thing. But but ran all of those things, ran all of those things uh, to try to find an edge. What I mean by an edge is something that worked a majority of the time. I have plenty of coins that I can flip out there. I'm not really interested in a coin flip out there. I'm interested in something that works. And this was the only thing, and I can get a lot of hate mail from all of the folks out there that are um, are, lunar, are, are, are celestial enthusiasts out there. Hey, I've done the work. I've done the work. And I can tell you that this is the absolute best tool that I have found, most consistent tool. But there are times, there are times where, John, it just doesn't work as clean as it does. That's okay. It's wait for the next cycle. That's this weekend, folks. Watch today's close. Sunday's open to understand whether the message is bullish or bearish. We'll be right if you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, Sylvia wants to take a look at a couple different instruments. Uh, one is Discovery Inc., uh, which is a uh, beautiful looking uh, stock chart. If we take a look at the uh, long term stock chart, now when I say beautiful looking, what is it that I mean specifically? Well, first, if we take a look at uh, daily, weekly, and monthly profiles, prices trading above those, Sylvia. So, it's cleared resistance thus far. Of course, the month is not over. But when we do take a look at the uh, month and see where price is trading into, and when I say trading into, I'm really referring to the swing point from uh, that began on November 1st out there that's what price is trading into that was a swing point that did 85 million shares 84.5 is what it did you're at 83.8 right now so price on a monthly base only the 22nd is moving into a swing point with volume. So what does that mean to you and I? It means that it should at least test the high 34.89. So if you were asking me where it's going, 34.89, you're really asking me, hey, where is uh, where's the time to get in? And you're saying, okay, um, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, so. Uh, but you're you're asking where to get in, and so the monthly chart really wouldn't be the the t the tool, the chart, the time frame that we would use to really get in. But I'm just trying to help you understand where is price going. If you take a look at the swing points on a weekly basis, you would look at July 15, 25 million. You're already at 27. Then you would take a look at the swing point from November 5th, 24 million. You're already at 27 million again. You're getting confirmation that price wants to go test those recent highs those recent highs again being 34.89 when you're looking for a bottom what i really prefer that you do is uh, buy those bottoming patterns versus the breakouts where we're at right now it's breaking out it's moving higher uh, but always a difficult a more difficult call i'd rather you go invest in uh was it occidental petroleum was that what brent had uh called about let me just look here because you know first brent's an amazing uh trader one of the best uh, uh, fishermen that is out there is provided uh, each of you with uh, a couple of really great uh, trade uh, insights this week. And uh, just uh, just trying to find out where where do we start, just so I can uh, make sure I've got that. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? Jeez. Uh, yeah, Occidental Petroleum, OXY. I'd rather you buy buy that because it's closer to a bottom. So the bottom out here in Discovery uh, came right here on November 20. I'm sorry, September 23rd out there. Now you might say, God, Steve, you're the you're the most amazing 
tech knowledge chartist guy and because you can tell me what took place uh, on a chart to your left side. No, that's not how we call the bottom, even though that's a low. You and I use a handful of tools, just a handful. TD set up nine count. Uh, a to B equals CD, easy to understand, right? Along, just make sure you've got your bullish and bearish reversal candles. You've got your seventh wave move in the Chapman wave. By the way, the A to B equals CD, that encompasses the Gartley, the butterfly, the whole nine yards out there, the roads momentum indicator top and bottom. Those four alone, just those four, will give you a plethora of potential tops and bottoms out here. And in this case here, it was a bottom on September 23rd, price moving lower, doing less route of energy, generating that bullish reversal candle known as the piercing candle. And then, uh, simply, Sylvia, because you mentioned that hammer candle out there, you're having a little fun with me on that hammer candle. Well, you got a doble gi. You got a hammer candle on October 2nd, which was really just confirming that prior bottom. Now, on the daily time frame chart, we can see prices moving higher, doing less route of energy. Doesn't mean it's a top. It only means it's a top if we see some type of bearish reversal candle. So I cannot, it's only going to be day five of a TD set of nine count, but I cannot suggest to you that you go ahead and enter into a long trade out here. I'd rather you buy bottoms and, and rather you learn that pattern. And if you don't know that pattern, just subscribe to Mastering Probability. Uh, spend the next 29 days if you don't want to pay for the full subscription out there. Go watch the uh, workshops. There's five or six of them that are out there to describe uh, that specific pattern. Look for that. Look for that to be able to buy those bottoms and enter a uh, trade. That's going to give you your better risk reward. You would ask about ticker symbol AGIOS as well. So let's go take a look at it. Although A G I O S, I'm not getting anything. So my apologies, Sylvia. I would look it up, but for whatever reason, and my typing skills apparently they're dead on, dead on balls accurate right now. But I'm not being able to pull up a instrument out there. So, um, anyways, best of luck. Thanks for writing in. Have a, a great uh, weekend, uh, Polar. You're you put you put Ford in there. Hey, I'm going to go see that movie tonight, Ford versus Ferrari. Anybody seen it? Too late already. I bought the tickets. Um, uh, and uh, so hopefully it's a good movie. And, and if not, uh, oh, well, that's that's what Stevie's going to do with his Friday evening. They're going to blow off the old sushi sake event uh, to go uh, j instead just have a little popcorn and a glass of wine. And nothing goes better with popcorn than a, a good glass of Cabernet out there. Um, okay, so what do we want to look at next? No requests out here. So the phone lines are open, 877-927-6648. And the email line, well, that's always open, but uh, send them early because I guess we got about two and a half minutes, and then we go into the two-minute wrap. And, hey, folks, remember, on uh, Monday and Tuesday of this coming week, I'll fill in for Larry, do the 9 to 10 o'clock show. I'll make it as pertinent as I can, as always, for the 1 to 2. It'll be replayed then. And then uh, and then my holiday weekend, in essence, starts Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, fun day out there. So, uh, so that's what's going on in my world. Uh, let's go take a look at some other instruments, other important things to look at. Um, what do we? What, I don't know what those are. Oh, well, let's go take a look at some of the usual suspects, right? Let's take a look at Goldilocks. Uh, it's off uh, 60 cents out here. What's gold doing? Not much. AGIO. Okay, Steve. Oh, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, Sylvia, you've got uh, you've got a wingman. Uh, Steve-O, not me, not this Steve-O, the Steve-O from uh, Alaska, I believe that is, that is in your court. So we'll take a look at it in a moment. But Goldilocks here, you can see the descending. You tell me, folks, is gold in a, in a, in a, uh, uh, um, an uptrend or a downtrend? Which trend? Downtrend, clearly. Downtrend channel line out here. A to B equals CD pattern, which we could draw in. Price right now just simply uh, consolidating between support and resistance. 1453 support, 14, 1474 is resistance. That's another amazing thing. You want to talk about apogee and perigee? You probably don't. But how about these TAS market profiles? You start asking questions, how does that work? It's not perfect which is why I use it, because I'm so far from perfect that it just kind of works for me out here. But look at how price over this entire week, the, more than this entire week, um, uh, you can take a look at each time the rally, 
that we've seen, if you want to call it a rally, a, a move higher in gold, come back to November 14th, where it price stopped the top of that box, 1474. Where did it stop November 18th? The same thing. How about November 19th? The same thing. How about November 20th? The same thing. How about yesterday? The same thing. You know what Tom likes to say? I think it's a great expression out there. You can't bust them up. Uh, what are you going to do? Bust them down. Now, if that's the case, where do you think gold is headed to? It's trading right now at 1463. You're exactly right. It's knocking on the door of 1460 and 1453. And folks, this is a bullish structured box. 1453.30 fails. Where is it headed to? That's right, the bottom of that descending price channel, which lines up with 1412.10. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We'll go take a look at AGIO, courtesy of Steve-O in the den. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So to finish out the show, we're going to take a look at ticker symbol AGIO. Uh, the company name is AGIOS. AGIOS Pharmaceuticals, Inc. And uh, so in this case here, Sylvia, good job. You have found a bottom. I don't want you to buy it today, though. Now, when you say you found a bottom, again, no different than what you and I were talking about earlier, what we talk about each and every day. I, my apology for boring each of you to uh, smithereens, so to speak. But it's, it's just this is just you and I going fishing. 
you know, and when is the time to go ahead and throw throw that line in and uh, try to catch one? Well, if you're doing some bottom fishing out here, uh, that took place on November the 2nd. You didn't even have to use a whole lot of bait out there. That's because price was moving lower, doing less route of energy, nice bull reversal signal, the old bull sash candle. So you've got a nice bottom out here. Now, Sylvia, you're not going to buy it today. You're going to be in day number nine of a TD setup nine count. And we can see that just a few days ago, Stevie's green red line turned green. And you and I know what that means. That means we should see price and that line catch up to each other. And that's what you're really looking for is that test. Right now, that line level is 35, 31. Wait for a test. A test and rejection is bullish and would then suggest that price will move up to its breakdown area. And that would be 43.35. But the daily chart looks beautiful and is suggesting that we should see some kind of pullback. Now, I don't know when. I don't know if it begins on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Just simply stay tight on that if you'd like. If you want to go ahead and venture in to the deep end of the pool, then go ahead and do that. Uh, because the weekly time frame chart shows a TD setup, nine count bottom, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, but again, Stevie's going to say, eh, just, just hold off here. Beautiful bottom on the weekly. But if I were to ask you where's resistance here, you would come back and you'd say 38.90. And you're at 37.42. And the high so far this uh, week has been 38.35. So real close to that resistance level. So you're on to something here. But look for the next retracement in ticker symbol A-G-I-O. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned, please. Two great hours to close out the week. David White, followed by Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with you Monday morning and Tuesday morning, 9 to 10. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care.